Hi, what I'd like to go over today is the components that you would receive if you purchase one of our QCFC pullback 80 series collet chucks. What you will get when you purchase your chuck is you'll get the actual body that you would mount to your spindle. Um, we offer this body in different spindle mounts, A26, A28, and we can also offer adapter plates to adapt it to whatever spindle mount that your chuck is. Included in there, you're gonna get your mounting hardware to bolt this to the chuck, and you're gonna get a blank draw screw, which you're gonna be able to modify to adapt to your draw tube of your machine. You're also going to get a backstop as well, and you're gonna get a chip guard to help prevent chips from getting inside the chuck. We also sell as an accessory the actual collets, whatever size that you need, along with the collet wrench to put the collets into the chuck. I would like to go over right now is how to actually install the machine draw screw into your collet chuck. You're going to start out with a blank draw screw that you're going to modify to the correct length and ID thread specifications. Um, the draw screw is going to have a key that's going to align to an ID key in the ID bore of the collet chuck and it's going to have an O-ring for interference fit. So you're going to actually take this and align it to the key and drop that right in there and it's already set now for you to install this onto the draw tube of the machine spindle. All right, now that we have actually installed the threaded draw screw into the body of the chuck, we're gonna now show you how to take the chuck and thread it onto the draw tube of the machine spindle. Okay, before we install our chuck on the machine, we wanna make sure that we clean the spindle area so it's free of chips and any kind of coolant and any debris. You can also apply some anti-seize on the actual draw tube threads to prevent any kind of rusting. Okay, so now you're gonna take your chuck and we're gonna basically align the draw screw to the threads. We're gonna thread this on as far as it'll go and then we're gonna back it off and uh, align the alignment pin to the chuck. And at this point, we're gonna go ahead and close the chuck and we're gonna install the six cap screws. And then you're just gonna go ahead and tighten these in. It's not necessary to really tighten these in a star pattern since the collet chuck is already closed. And we're gonna basically just tighten these up. So we take collet to install the collet. 